Oh, I say, Captain, you looks lovely. Pete, not open. Well, he's got his own business to run. Oh, Stell, your first day. Simon Ian, help me, sir. Oh, a son's for you. I mean, I know Simon and Billy, your son, but I mean, what's yours is Pete, and what Pete's is yours, so in a manner of speaking, he comes with a package. I don't think of the good stock they're marking, so. Yeah, this one, in finish. Now you're twice blessed, Kath. I mean, I know they say that daughters are more loyal to their mothers and sons, but I say you can't beat sons. I mean, you take my neck. I mean, what I say is that one son is worth two daughters any day of the week. Still, we'll never know, will we, Kath? Because God decreed a boy for you and a boy for me, and he knows what's best. And I've never really thought about it, Doc. Mm. I've got another member of the family now, look. <laughs> Least I could do while Ethel's in the hospital. I'll come back later, Kath. I'll help you finish off that thing. Hey, Kath, is she lofty around? No, love. What's going on? Oh, must be lofty. I thought there was something up. He ain't tried to top himself, is he? Oh, God forbid. Tell us then, sorry, is he all right? Yeah, I found him in the nick of time. I've got to get him to hospital. Straight to casualty as fast as you can, will you? There's no one free. Not well, like, you know, so I don't mind Willie. I'll... Well, no, I'll go. Is that all right, then? Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's all right, Lofty, mate. I'm coming with you. It's all right, Lofty, mate. Hey, it's not Michelle's fault. Lofty's a chronic asthmatic, all right? Could have happened at any time. You're trying to tell me there's no connection between his attack and what she did. Lofty's illness is his problem, all right? Just leave her out of it. Where are you going? Open up. You said you had an appointment. So I did. Dan! Oh, come on, Dan. Just calm down, will ya? Sorry, Kate. For a nice cup of tea. It's just anything to do with illnesses or any upsets. I just want to burst into tears. I'll see the mood on you Why don't you walk that with me, all right? Come, you can fetch us both a cup of tea and I'll show you the stuff in the stall. There's no one to look after the pub, though. Don't be daft. I've got to get back to the store. I said I'd only be five minutes. And anyway, Dan's in there, isn't he? Right, yeah, come. Half the time he's all over me wanting to talk. The other half he don't come close enough to spit. And in between he's moody. He's driving me nuts. Look, he's worried about you. That's his way of showing it. Do me a favour, cat. Anyway, I better go upstairs and get changed. I'll be late. <laughs> Going out? Yeah. Big appointment. Sort of, yeah. Is it the specialist, Dan? Yeah, it's the specialist. Good luck, mate. Remember, they can help you. You just keep your cool and get what you can from it, all right? They'll soon sort you out. Oh, thanks, Kat. Do me a favour, will you? Tell the Lord and Master I've gone. I'll see you. All right.